Hello Scorpio, how are you guys doing? Okay, this reading is for you, okay? I'm going to be looking at your energy on this side and the energy of another person. This could be a love interest that is on your mind. You could already know this person or this could be the next person that's coming in for you. We'll get more clues as it comes out and you can see if it is resonating, okay? So let's see. Okay, and don't forget to like and subscribe if it resonates, okay? Let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio. You know, you got Queen of Cups here. You have a lot of emotions going on, coming up, just feeling very emotional. You know, just ready for compassion, ready for a loving connection. You know maybe feeling overwhelmed, like you feel like you always have compassion for other people, but who has compassion for you? And now you have the five of wands with the tower. Where is your compassion, you know, from other people towards you? Let's see. Let's see about this. Okay, this is going to be your energy. This is going to be their energy. How you see them, how they see you, your actions, their actions, okay? Um, we have the lovers. Well, choices. I feel like you're really in touch with yourself at this time, your higher power, uh, your angels, your ancestors. There's something here that has it's been drama for quite some time this could be generational drama and there's something here that you're facing and you want to put an end to it and you want to make choices in love you want to make choices that are the divine you know uh divine guidance and you know you want a real love here so let's let's see about this your current energy you know you have the five of swords you have the seven of swords and you have the nine of cups so you're very aware of other people's energy you're very aware of betrayal and i feel like you're sick and tired of the betrayal it's like there is a win here but there is a win that has come at a at a, at a huge cost and you may not be all the way out. You could feel trapped in a situation. And there's a lot of ways that you're really happy. And there's a lot of ways that you've been fighting and you're winning for a long time. And you're kind of having to maneuver your way. There is something here about you have to balance things in order to survive. You have to kind of find this happy medium of where you're at and deal with things that maybe you shouldn't have to deal with here. Um, there's something here. Any betrayal is, you know, with this yellow in the back of the seven of swords, this is an indication that this is a good thing. It may not feel like a good thing at the time, but it is very good for you to be aware of this information because this is a turning point. You're at a turning point here and you can make these choices here to heal yourself and move on from something. And I feel like it's been a long time coming. Okay. Yeah, we have the fool here. Now we have the death card over here. So, you know, you tried to have a new beginning and you kind of had the same BS pop up again and again and again. And there's something here where some people are being given a lot of chances and they don't deserve the chances. At the end of the day, this person can be fulfilled on their own. And this is something that you're, you know, kind of learning here. What is what adds value to your life? Who adds value to your life? And who does not add value to your life? So this is interesting. Okay, wow. You could know uh, somebody through work. You could know somebody through, where are you spending your days? What do you do in your regular day life? You know? So if you work from home, it could be a neighbor. If you go to school, it could be someone from school. If you always stop at the same coffee shop on the way to work, it could be someone at that coffee shop. It doesn't necessarily just have to be work, but this is where you're dedicated or on your way to something that you're dedicated <laughs> about. There is an opportunity, there's a flirtation here, there's passion, there's chemistry, there's a connection. This hasn't um, taken root yet. You know, there's an opportunity in the air. 
for this. There's a lot of passion between you. There could be like heated looks back and forth and you can feel this person's energy. Um, there's some light flirtation, but there's a lot of focusing on something and getting something done. So there is a person here who, you know, are they going to reach out? Is this going to be something that's going to take shape? Because we have the leaves here. And this is because this, this wand, you know, this is alive. But if it's not planted in the ground with roots, if it's not grounded, if it's not getting the nourishment, you know, from the water, th this is not going to continue to grow. It's not going to thrive. So now there is a chance for something to be rooted, for something to grow. And we got to see with this flirtation, is this going to go somewhere? Is it not going to go somewhere? But there's definitely somebody here who wants a passionate new beginning. They're a person who knows how to be dedicated. They are hardworking. And this is a person who they will take an opportunity to have fun, but they put their dedication, like something that they're dedicated to, they're going to focus on that first, you know? So, interesting. Let's see, how do you view this person? Wow. Oh, wow, Scorpio. Do you really view them as something, huh? You know, the Empress here, judgment, you see them as your new beginning. You see this person, you know, with this Ten of Cups here, you know, in the rainbow. This is a new beginning. This is emotional fulfillment. You can see it. You can see the life. You could see the little house. You see the yard. You see the kids running around. You see you and them happy. You know, you see this person as someone who their energy is calling you in. You see this person as someone who, you know, they have been through things, but they have made major transitions in their life also and this is a person who's serious about following the divine about moving forward in their life here and making choices in love which is like very interesting exactly you know what i was getting with your energy with the lover's card here so you really view this person as mirroring your energy here which is you know it's nice that's very nice so let's see scorpio okay okay how does this person view you? You know, you have the three of wands, you have the five of wands, and you have the high priestess. This person sees you as ready to move on from drama. <laughs> this person could see you as dealing with a lot. Um, and it's like, maybe you're not taking actions to get out of a situation, to speak out about something, because the high priestess, she's gathering her information, okay? She's very connected to the divine. She knows things. She can see everything right? There are no limits above her. So there is nothing to be judged. There is nothing to go back and forth here. So this person could see you as someone who's very wise. They see you as somebody who is very, um, you know, spiritually in tune. You can have, you know, they could really see you as somebody that has these psychic gifts. Um, but th th regardless, they see you as having strong intuition, you know, for sure. Um, and I think that, this person, it's like you're staying out of this drama. <laughs> you know, you're separating yourself from drama here. That's what was coming out with the five of wands on the tower. It's like you're over that. You're done with that. You don't want anything to do with that. And there is a time to act. And this person knows that you're a person that will act, that will stand up for what is right. But you're pulling to the side to gather more information and to act when it is right for you because there's things that you're focusing on achieving in your life. And you're not just going to get involved in all of this drama all the time. Like that's not your business, you know? So you want some kind of a change in your life. This person could know that your past relationships have been very difficult and it has been one thing after the other. But this person recognizes that your wisdom and you learning you know, to wait until it's right for you to act. That's what the Three of Wands is really talking about. And this is somebody who's looking for a new beginning here because this, they're watching for the ships to come in. So this is a person who, you know, they're going to wait until the time is right. And then they're going to act on something new. So this is how this person views you as waiting for the time is, is right. It's like, okay, you want to be sure that this new person coming in is genuine. And maybe you're not completely done with the situation because you have the seven of swords here and they're seeing you as looking on at this five of wands. So there's still things that you're getting settled in your life. And it, it's just, you know, things take time to settle and to get out of this situation and that situation. You know, that's the way life works. So... person could just see you as someone who has a lot of responsibilities. 
as well. Or, you know, if you were a person that did engage in drama, there is a change. You have made a tra transition. This person notices. They see that. So this is very interesting. This could be a Pisces person. You have Taurus here. Um, they def Or Gemini. You have, it doesn't have to be one of those signs. Okay, we'll see. You have four of cups. You have the four of swords. And you have the queen of pentacles. Interesting, interesting. You know, you've been disappointed before. You've been praying for a blessing. You've been praying for a new beginning. And I see you nourishing yourself. I see you putting your energy towards things that create value in your life. Um, and you're going to let this person come to you. <laughs> That's how I feel. It's like, okay, you know, I'm ready. I'm good. You know, you have your resources. You have things set. There's things that you're working on that are establishing. They're growing. You're putting energy into something. You're getting something back. It's like you're here. You know, you value yourself. And if this person is going to come forward, they're going to come forward. But you're not going to make these kinds of moves here. Um, because, you know, you've been disappointed and this is something that you, you're you hoping and praying for. And I feel like you're just taking a step back and getting this stability here because, you know, there's instability, there's instability, there's instability. And it's like you trying so hard to make changes to improve your life and to cut out people that you can see. Okay, this, this person is not genuine. You can see this now, okay? And you have waited for the right divine timing to make these changes. And now you're in this place of stability. And now, okay, now spirit, now what? That's kind of the energy that you're giving off here. Okay. You have the two, of the, they have the two of pentacles, the six of swords and the nine of swords. You know, this person is back and forth on stepping forward. I feel like this person is somebody who really wants to step forward and eventually they are going to do it. The only thing that I'm getting with this energy is, is there some kind of an obligation that this person has that is going to cause them to hold back? There could be something that happens in their life. You know, are they going through a divorce? Do they have children? Do they need to help their family with this? There's something here about needing to go somewhere and it's like, oh, why did this happen? And now they're in between about what to do. So I don't feel like it's like they don't have emotions and they don't have this feeling for you. It could be this energy of you meet someone and you're so excited and meeting them, but the timing is just off for whatever reason here. And so now it's like, well, what is gonna happen? Because they had some kind of a life emergency. So this could delay things a bit. Um, I wanna pull a card about this. Cause you know, the Six of Swords is movement, and is movement in this healthy direction. So look. The Six of Swords. Shut up. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. They could be ready to make this move. To move forward in this connection. Yeah. This is something that could bring a lot of stability here. This person wants a family. Look at now you have the chariot. Yeah. They're coming towards you. They're coming towards you. This is a person that's ready to come forward and they really want something. There could be a delay because of difficulties that they had to face. And then they have to go back and then they come back again. There's something here about that. They may have to travel to their hometown and deal with something with family and then come back. Or, you know, there could just be, you know, life reasons why, you know, this person is going through something and this is why, you know, there has been this back and forth on if they're ready to make this move or whatever. Um, but this person is going to do what they need to do to move in this healthy direction. And I really see this as something that they want. They're very sure about what it is that they want and they want to build this with you. They see this as something that could be really amazing. And they're gonna come forward and let you know this. It just may take a little bit of time because of some things that they have going on. So I feel like this could be something, you know, very good for you here. You know, you have the 10 of Pentacles and the Chariot. This could be a Cancer person. Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles, so it could be like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
um, doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's like this person, there's a lot of things that they have to get in order. And then there's this initiative, taking this initiative. You may not be aware that this person has these feelings, uh, but there are some things that they have been balancing out. They've been getting in order with this temperance card and the moon that they're ready to now communicate eight of wands. So this is very interesting here. Um, I feel like you will hear about something difficult that's going on with them. You know, maybe they're not there where you always see them and then you find out why. Somebody else tells you why. And this could have to do with something with their childhood that they have to deal with. And so then they're going to come back. Um, or they could just be absent, you know, for a few days from something. This, this, this is giving that kind of an energy here. Um, wow, what an interesting little... Uh, What an interesting little story. Okay. Yeah, which is very much so come to the edge. Okay, so there could be, you know, a major life thing that's happening here that this person has to deal with. I feel like you have also been dealing with a major life event. I feel like yours may be over with, you know, so you become settled. And theirs, you know, happened a little bit later than yours. So then they have to become settled here. This is about the universe, you know, bringing two people together by tying up all the loose ends that they need to tie up in their lives. This is yang energy. This person now ready to act and move forward because building blocks, because they have created the stability in their life. Now they're ready to move forward. And this is what, you know, you're doing as well. You're, you're, finding the stability in your life. And then now you're ready to, you know, to receive here. That's the yin energy. And their, their energy is the yang energy, which would be the movement forward. And we saw that with the um, king of wands. So there you go. This is very, uh, this looks really good. Okay, peacock spirit, let it shine. Yeah, and this is what this is talking about, is luring them in. You know, you don't have to go out here and chase this and chase that. You know you're worth, you know your value, okay? Uh, you're looking good. You're amazing. Let your light shine, your vibration shine, your aura shine. This is going to come together, okay? Uh, what's destined for you will find you. And this is, you know, I love this shining here, the heart chakra. You healed your own heart chakra, and now that's why this is going to come together for you. So peacocks, you may see peacocks, and that is an indication that spirit wants you to shine, wants you to believe in yourself, wants you to love yourself, okay? And you will attract a person, you know, that loves themselves and has love to give as well. So beautiful, healthy thing. Okay, thank you, Scorpio. I hope that this resonated with you. If it did and you want to like or subscribe, that would be awesome. Okay.